All right, so today's video is gonna be about mountain camp feeding. It's emergency feeding for winter time. It involves just basically giving your bees dried granular sugar. Um, my hives are all alive. They all have some weight to them still. Uh, I do sometimes gratuitously add uh, dry sugar. I have fondant on them now. Um, just in case they, sometimes the bees will stove pipe up right through the hive and then they can't get to the stores. So I, I tend to just have a, a reserve and emergency kind of insurance uh, amount of food up on top of the frames on the hive. So they have somewhere that if they do wind up blowing right through the center of their hive, they can at least get to what I would consider an oasis of resources for them until it warms up and they can break cluster and go back down and find those hives. I've seen hives starve out where um, there's plenty of stores left and right of the bees or it's just one frame over and they just couldn't get to it because they just went straight up and they couldn't get up and over. This gives them a place where they can kind of go and I look at it as regrouping. I don't like the fondant so much. It was free. I got it last year from a supplier who was uh, just looking to get rid of it and I didn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. I do prefer sugar because it's twofold. It, it gives emergency feed and it also acts as a moisture control because all the moisture in the hive that we struggle with all through winter, um, the sugar helps absorb that. So I'm going to go over everything you need. You need your sugar. You need a spray bottle. I'll go over why you need that. Smoker. Always light your smoker, even for the smallest, simplest tasks. Newspaper and a shim. I don't have any shims left, so I'm going to improvise. I'm just going to use a medium super. That just gives your um, space to put the sugar so the lid could go back on, and you'll see when I demonstrate it. Give a little smoke just to kind of announce your presence, smoke them down because most likely they are at this time of year they probably are up top. And sure enough, there they are. They love when you do that. So you put your shim down. Another thing I'm a big fan of that uh, I'm not doing today is uh, just shame on me is wearing some sort of um, protection uh, I don't do the full bee jacket uh, but I always at least have a hat and a mosquito net on just to protect your eyes and I forgot mine today so shame on me so what we do is we put down some newspaper And I like to spray it with water. Uh, you want that, just mist it. I know moisture is bad for the hive, but they always, you know, say wet the paper a little bit. You don't want to spray water down into the hive. That, you know, the majority of that water is going right on that paper. Get your bag of sugar. sometimes it'll happen especially if you're in warmer climates is uh when you put dry sugar in they might view that as garbage and just start hauling it out on a nice day so what i do that's why i put water down on the newspaper just pour some sugar in there and then i like to mist the sugar a little bit And then I take my hive tool, almost kind of like you're mixing concrete. And you don't have to get it terribly wet. It's, it's, it's almost like, you know, I hear a lot of people making sugar cakes and that's fine too. I mean, I, I could see the ease of that, just opening your hive and dropping it in. It's almost as easy as like, uh, just as easy as fondant. Um, but that's, you know, you're 
you get you got to make those bricks up and everything and i just prefer to do it this way if you prefer bricks that's you know i'm not i guess it's just personal preference so there i made my little literally just made a sugar brick in the hive and i add a little more sugar on there this is a time of year right now it's uh second week of february here in new jersey and come march april we're getting some nice weather now we're, we're getting 60s next week um low 60s for a couple days the bees may start going through their stores pretty good and you know pre-spring spring those are the most popular times most popular those are the most common times for hives to uh starve out um, people tend to get a little complacent because they weren't going through their stores at a terribly fast rate through winter. But this is a time of year where they're starting to brood up. Um, you get some nice days, some nice fly days. They're going out there to, you know, do some cleansing flights. And, uh, you know, burning up energy, which means they need, need more resources, so... Uh, this hive was a little bit on the light side, so I threw some sugar on there. That's it. Put your covers back on. Inner cover. You're going to see uh, what I use. This is a Homa soap board. This is what I use for moisture control. I'm going to have a video next uh, season for my winter prep video, but basically it's a sound board. You put your inner cover on with your notch. Your Soundboard has a, a, a groove in it. You buy the Homa Soap from box store. You could buy these pre-made from bee suppliers. Uh, it's very, uh, it's a lot, you know, less expensive to buy the Homa Soap board and four by eight sheets and make it yourself. It is a mess though. And then I just route the edge out. That goes on there like that. And what happens is the moisture comes up and vents out and this board will start picking up moisture. You can see it over here, there's some moisture and the edges are exposed and they'll it'll start drying you know because it's exposed to the outside air and ventilation and the air gets all under there and uh it'll it keeps your hives dry it's it works it's been working for me i don't use quilt boxes or anything like that but i'll go way more into detail in a, a in a future video during my winter prep videos next year so we'll get right into that um, and that's it. That's mountain camp feeding. Thanks for joining me today.